Good morning and welcome to the morning show with Angel and Tina and our varied, varied, fabulous guests in their virtual studios today. Tina, how are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. It is Friday, 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 and I'm so excited. We have some amazing celebrities in the house today. I think we this might be our first movie celebrity lineup. It very, very, very well be. We have several members of the cast from the award-winning film Beyond the Secret, The Awakening, as well as our fabulous producers, Dot and Melinda. How are you today? We're doing awesome. 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 Thank you for asking. Where are you guys coming from? We are in Ontario, California right now. Okay, so we got some East Coast, we got some Mountain, and... Yeah. Right, and we've got John. John, you're coming to us a little more globally than California. From the other side, I'm coming directly live from Dubai. From Dubai, I think that might be our first person from Dubai. <laughs> it's always the first time. Always the first time. Thank you, Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> and then Levin. Good morning, good morning. I'm out in Detroit right now. Okay, we got a bunch of different time zones, countries, states. We're representing in the house today. Absolutely. Well, happy Friday. It is our 110th episode of the Angel and Tina morning show. We bring you the bright start to your day. And we are so excited to be featuring the cast and the producers from the film Beyond the Secret. Donna Melinda, give us a little highlight, little overview about, about the film. Well, you know, it, it was so exciting to be able to um, do this film back in 2019 when we first began the production of it, we had no idea what 2020 would unfold. But what we did know was that we were directly inspired um, to do this film. And as we began to roll it out, we began to understand that it was all about helping people raise their consciousness and find their own light path. And then here we were in 2020, in January, we had it, uh, the red carpet in at Universal Studios, which was a fabulous experience. But then things began to change in 2020, right? Things began to unfold in a whole different manner. And we realized that the film was for a time such as this. So we were really blessed and excited to, to be able to bring this out to the public. Well, yeah, what an amazing time to do something like that though, right? It's just the universe kind of puts, you, puts it right at the time where everybody's gonna need it. But you know, it was really interesting because Daniel who is also in the movie, he's in Australia. And he had said, you know, why aren't we, why isn't anybody asking the law of attraction what it wants us to say, right? Because, you know, ask and you shall receive, right? Um, and that's exactly what he did. And it just kind of unfolded to all the speakers like John and Levin and everybody else that came into the movie is, you know, everybody had their piece to say, but it was all different, but it's all unique. And, and it was just an amazing, amazing come together back from, you know, 13, 14 years ago when the actual secret came out. And you know, it, the, the film itself had a life of its own. I mean, yeah. it, it first, when we first got the idea, we were thinking to call it um, your, your own personal genie. And we were going to actually take one of our film guys and paint him blue, right? And go on Amazon and buy him a genie outfit. <laughs> I had the artwork and everything made up. It was so funny. Yeah. So who, who was going to be in the genie? Who was going to have to wear the genie costume? Was that you, John? Be John? <laughs> they I was available. I was available. <laughs> the call never came. <laughs> you know, you know what is really funny? Like, like, uh, uh, like you said very well, Tina, is when everything comes together, the alignment. Uh, I started a project a few years back called Beyond a Billion with the idea and a project to connect with over a billion people around the world. And that time, Don and Melinda was putting the, the movie together, Beyond the Secret, which I was not aware of, aware of until a certain time they called me. And I was, you know, I feel very fortunate and very blessed to be part of the movie. And I truly thank you with all my heart. But when he said Beyond the Secret, how can you say no? It was meant to be beyond beyond expectations, beyond imaginations, and the law of attractions, that's the one thing that will give to the people whatever they're looking for, if they are truly 
connected with their inner world and their true belief that whatever they want in their mind and in their heart for the best intention for the people at the right time, things will happen. Mm. And absolutely I, that's so important because john, like john says it's it's it comes from the heart right it's not just for yourself but it's for the people so that other people can awaken other people can get enlightened other people can really understand what's really happening not just in the outside world but to themselves you know because it really comes down to ourselves correct it's not about um uh, you know i ask everybody in, in many trainings what how do you feel better when you give a gift or when you receive a gift. That feeling of giving, it's so powerful that if people understand the, the power of giving, not only giving money, donations, but your time, your love, your care, your passion, your understanding, your commitment, whatever that is that you wanna give, the universe will bring you back multiple times, Tenfold. benefiting in every aspect, health, family, love, friends, opportunities, but you your are inner world. My language, because the get the language of gifting is my love language. And I love, love, love to send gifts to people, little gifts, little, you know, trinkets, you know, Starbucks, whatever it is, because even a message, it feels so good when they're like, Oh, thank you so much. You thought about me. Right. And are again, you one of those people that, that people. pays for the, uh, you pay for the people behind you in the Starbucks line, Tina? Are you one of those? All the time. I knew it. And then the next day when I go, mine gets paid for. Yeah, I knew it. Amazing. Mine Isn't gets paid amazing? for all the time. And I get Starbucks gift cards in the mail. Like, hey, Tina, thank you so much. I know you love Starbucks. Here you go. And I'll get like a $15 Starbucks gift card. And I just paid for somebody's $10 Starbucks behind me. Nice. Pay forward. Remember, pay forward. And I always send Angel when we, cause we do the Connect Summit once a month. And so when uh, we do the Connect Summit, I like to send Angel little, you know, little things. And so I send her like Starbucks and her husband will be like, you know, here you go. she will be like, oh. <laughs> cause we are in, yeah, you know, she's in, in across the country. We're nowhere close to each other. And she somehow sends me, you know, is able to be here present with me um, through, through her gifts. And I'm just, I yeah, am the gratitude specialist. So, you know, I got to walk the walk. She does. Okay, so this fabulous film. How? So how many people? How many people were actually in in the film? I want to say 12, 13? yes. I think there was twelve or thirteen cast members. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And we had some great cast members: uh, Joan Asroff, Dennis Waitley, uh, Marie, Marie Diamond. Diamond. So yeah, we had some, we had some really great cast members that all contributed really great information. When we filmed at Dennis Waitley's house, it, that was an, an amazing um, experience because John Asroff joined us there as well. So that, that was a lot of fun. He was very great host. Dennis Waitley was fantastic. Well, we'll they make sure, we'll yeah, make sure that we put the yeah. link to, to the movie. It's available on Amazon Prime. And so we'll put the link in. Um, you also can get to it directly from the website, right? Beyondthesecret.tv? Beyondthesecret.com. Dot com. Beyondthesecret.com. Yeah. TV, TV is our next thing that's coming up that we can talk about later. <laughs> okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll move. Yeah, we'll, we'll transition. We have little snippets. We're like, ooh, what is this? Coming up next. next After the commercial break. Stay tuned. <laughs> beyondthesecret.com. So, so John, did, what did you talk about in, in the, in the movie? What was your segment? I, we have, a, we have a, a question for John. Is he oh. wearing pants? <laughs> of course. Of course. I think we need to see this. Well, the he question is, <laughs> how long the are they? Is the length. <laughs> <laughs> Well, stay tuned to see it before the end. So, before the end, right? yeah, so, so if you stay till the end of the Angel and Tina Morning Show, you might get a little sneak peek of what John's bottom half looks like. <laughs> Tina, Tina, right? She wants to know: Is he wearing the the required Zoom uniform of blazer and and boxers? Right, like, right. Um, because we well, tease all the time that we're all fancy from the waist up. 
you're going to find out at the end of the show. At the end of the show. <laughs> Um, okay. All right. So we'll talk a little bit. Actually, Jeff Levine, also one of the producers, just came on came on camera is able to join us this morning. Hello, Jeff. Welcome. Good morning. This is exciting. I love your golf course behind you. Right. Amazing. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> that background. <clears throat> I get a lot of I get a lot of compliments. I took this photograph on Monday morning. I I was um, volunteering at a charity golf tournament, and this is Arrowhead Golf Course here in Denver, Colorado, about twenty minutes from my home, and it is one of the most breathtaking, beautiful places in the world. So if you golf, Arrowhead Golf Course, and it almost you... looks fake. Like I thought it was fake. I'm like, that's not real. She's like, yes. and she, we had like this big old long conversation. I'm like, oh my gosh, when I come visit you, we need to take a walk over there. Yeah, it, it is, is beautiful. And, and it's got a, a, the clubhouse where you can have breakfast and stuff like, like right there. So yeah, I'm like the weather girl. Oh, yeah, that was what Levin was calling me was the weather girl. There were, there were deer crossing, crossing <laughs> the fairway. Um, <laughs> well, all right. So I, before we go any further, let's at least introduce who everybody is, what your what you um, what their role was, what your role was in the film, and you know, and just a little bit about who you are and what and what you do, so that our audience knows who what fabulous guests we have in this studio today. So, um, Donna Melinda, I know we kind of started with you, but give just a little bit of background about about who you guys are and and your role with the film. I won't give it away. Yeah, so along with, with Jeff Levine and, and John Saturas, uh, we're the producers of, of the film. And, um, you know, our background has always been for the past 20 years in the self-help uh, development industry. And so this is actually our 11th film, 11th documentary that yeah. we've done since yeah. 2007. We did our first one back in 2007. Yeah. So compiling, you know, some of the best thought leaders on the planet and getting their perspective and their insights on the areas of like quantum physics, the law of attraction, really how all this like, you know, how life works together was really a, a great experience for us, but it was something that was our calling. It was something that we were supposed to do. Yeah. Um, and, and when you do a project of this magnitude, I mean, we had a you know, major red carpet. When you do something at that level, then you have to know that you are in your element. You know, somebody always would say, you know, how, how did you put on this type of production? And here's the truth. That I you, don't know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. But you can do what you can't do if you don't know you can't do it. That's right. So when we did our first film in 2007, they asked us, how did you do it? And I said, it, it never dawned on me that we couldn't do it. And I, I think that was a big thing. You know, when we were sitting at a restaurant and Don had a napkin and he goes, started writing. He looks at me, and goes, you know, I think I want to do a movie. That was in 2007. That was in 2007. And I, I looked at him and I said, oh, okay had no clue how to do a movie or where to even begin. So, you know, but, you know, I think sometimes when you put it out there, you know, then everything just kind of falls into place, right? You, you know, say yes now and figure say, out the details later. Right? Yeah. And I think that's where people get stuck at. They say, okay, but then they never take action on it. And, you know, and, and that's one of the things about the law of attraction, you know, you get this idea but if you're just sitting there not doing anything about it, then it's never going to manifest. Right? Well, people have always told us, are you guys out of your mind? Yeah. And we always say, we're trying to. <laughs> See, the, so the mind will restrict you to limitations. Yeah. So you got to get past outside of your mind. Yeah. So yeah, we, we've been trying for 20 years yeah. to get out of our mind. Yeah. Oh. yeah. All right. So then the other producers that are here with us are, are of course, John and Jeff. So um, John, I know we've given a little bit of background about, you know, where you're coming from, but go ahead and introduce yourself and talk about your role, your role with the film as well. The award-winning well, film. It's a, it's, it, it's a great honor to be part of the film, not only as a producer, but as, as, as a cast member, because it, for me, it's the result and the documentation that the law of attraction works. As a matter of fact, years back, 1992, when I wrote my check for $1 million that I was shooting for, hoping for, working for, 
for May 26, 1995. It happened May 26, 2011. And most of my goals uh, actually have been achieved just because I believed in the law of attraction decades ago. Mm. My background is business, specialty in marketing. I've traveled to over 100 countries. I've done speeches all over the world in different languages. But uh, the last few years, my goal was to find a way, a system, a company, or a method to connect beyond a billion people into one platform with one goal, to give them what they want and what they need. And they need and want two things. They want a better lifestyle. And to do that, you must know how to do it. So I developed a company that will show them exactly how to improve their quality of life. And part of the law of, uh, the law of attraction is a major part of it. You know, when I first heard of us, Sierra, I was telling Melinda, I <laughs> It did make, I didn't have enough questions. I didn't have enough information about it. I didn't know other people were asking me about it. So when she told me you were coming on here this morning, I yes. said, great, I'll finally get an answer to what it was I enrolled in because I I just kind of like rolled on the enthusiasm of people, other people around me. So we definitely want to talk a little bit more about Asira. You know, if we, you know, we'll, we'll squeeze it all in today. Absolutely. Squeeze it all into our one hour show. Right, love it. We got a few minutes somewhere, somewhere. We will, we will. I mean, if if we get to see your official Zoom wardrobe, then we definitely have time to talk about. Yeah. We'll do a we'll swap. Do. Okay, Levin, how about you? Yep. So, I happenstance ran into Don a few years back, and uh, there was a magical connection there. And this too just kind of confirms everything for me about the law of attraction. You know, I had gotten into real estate about 13, 14 years ago and saw the movie The Secret and really started learning about it following those teachers. And that eventually led me to Don and uh, being here today. So for me, it was like uh, Melinda said, taking action. Um, I realized on early on, like I can do pretty much anything as long as I don't know that I can't do it. And as long as I take action. So I spent the next 15 years taking action on things that people said I probably couldn't do. And then boom, there's Don, there's Beyond the Secret, there's Melinda, there's John, it just all appeared. So for me, it was taking action and then realizing like gratitude for what I've accomplished mm -hmm. and showing that to other people so that they can do the same right. thing. I love this theme that you talk about, like we didn't know we couldn't do it, mm -hmm. right? You know, so we just, we just took action and went forward and, and, and it wasn't- And the came later. Yeah, mm -hmm. we didn't just know we couldn't. It. Just do it like Nike says, right? Where, where did Jeff go? <laughs> right here, right here. He's this live, is... right? <laughs> I am right here. Jeff, we love you, you know that. Yes, I do. Would you I, like to I, introduce I, yourself, Jeff? Tell our yeah. audience a little bit about you and your role with the film. Yes, uh, I was involved with Don and Melinda and we started doing uh, some books and documentaries. And we started the Carnegie Principal Mastermind Group. And it's been great. And I, we wanted to do a movie. I felt that because of the secret, nothing had really come out and something needed to come out. Mm. So I, one morning saw on the my mind a picture of beyond the secret and i called don and don said that's the name and before we knew it don was filming <laughs> <laughs> the next day. Don, by the way it's like it's like it's like, it's like the napkin <laughs> all of right. a sudden we're doing it and we're so fortunate to have levin john uh, in the movie, and we've also even done starting a series for the movie, and I've been fortunate enough to get involved, and because of John Sectoris and his big thinking, I did a segment on big thinking, and thank you, John. You're the biggest thinker I know. Thank you, sir. And uh, we're having other people do segments and encourage anybody else who wants to be part of the movie doing a segment. 
So that's where I'm from. And that's how I got involved in the movie. Yeah, well, we definitely want to talk about how the film has transitioned now into this TV series. Um, but we do want to make sure that we let everybody know how they can go and watch it. Melinda, it's been winning award after award. You want to talk about that? Yeah, you know, it's been kind of exciting because, you know, because of you, Angel, you know, sometimes you need direction, right? I mean, all of us need direction in one way or another or some kind of mentor to kind of guide us into this, right? So I'm kind of the, the, the person that says, okay, this is what we have to do, but how do we do it? And then figure it out, right? So I, it was entered in, a, in, in some film festivals and we've got, um, gosh, we've, we've got quite a few now. Um, we got an award for merit. We've got uh, best film award out in Canada at a film festival. We got the best picture. Um, we've also been selected now for two or three other ones. And I also just got notified day before yesterday that we are a semi-finalist for a festival out in Canada as well. So oh. right, best yeah. short film, best short or best yeah. documentary, best woman producer. I mean, this thing is just just In killing it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I love it. And it was accepted on Amazon Prime for distribution. And yeah. I mean, you just, you know, and, and I think at a time when the world is trying to, you know, stop a whole lot of stuff Everything, from happening, right? the, you know, this is able to rise up. What you guys already had in motion, it was already in play for a time such as this. And so super honored and excited to see, to see it going and growing. Well, what else do we want people to know about the film um, before, we, before we talk a little bit more about what's next? Well, well, you people are asking, how can they see it? <laughs> that, that, yeah. That's a great that, question. That's a good question. So it is on Amazon Prime. So if you type in Beyond the Secret, The Awakening. So there is a subtitle to it called The Awakening. And it was really interesting because probably in December, I had told Don, I think there needs to be a subtitle of The Awakening, right? Not knowing what was about to happen here in... The global world right I mean not just here in the United States but globally um, and and I didn't realize that the awakening is really part of what's really happening now right it, it's really about helping people awaken their genius you know awaken uh, there's the genie again yeah <laughs> you're, done. you're gonna be a blue genie. genie whether you like it or not <laughs> I'm available <laughs> <laughs> you know and I and I just it's just amazing to me how things just kind of fall into place you know and even if it didn't look correct at the beginning the back end of going back in to say let's redo kind of some stuff we did and we took very close note to a lot of people who who are very close to us and said you know this is what we need to do. Um, you know, it, 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 it can be humbling sometimes, you know, but sometimes when you're humble, it makes you move forward, right? Mm -hmm. So yes. with that, you know, first of all, I just, I wanna thank everybody for being in the movie with us because it's so important that it wasn't just us with the idea, it's everybody who came forth and really helped us and guided us and, um, you know, I, I call every single one of the teachers that were in there a mentor for us, you know, because they, they truly mentor us. You know, I want to thank Isoko, who is our editor, our filmer, our, I mean, the genius really behind the scenes, you know. I mean, he has just been so amazing and he's now we're now into the filming of, of the next part of what's happening, you know, and, and we're really excited about that. But it's really about everybody that really helped us along the way of getting to where we needed to go and, and really helping us. So you can see it on Amazon Prime, Beyond the Secret, The Awakening, beyondthesecret.com uh, for the website. You get to see the trailer. We showed the, the movie trailer um, in an event we just did not too long ago on Tuesday. So helping to, to spread the word there, um, Beyond the Secret, The Awakening. Um, John, tell us a little bit about what, you know, what your vision is for the film um, going forward. 
One of the main things that got my a lot of my attention, and uh, Jeff talked about it right now, mm-hmm. dream big. Yeah. My uh, my focus for many decades to is to inspire people to dream big. See, dreaming is free. Mm. It doesn't cost anything. And I was fortunate to be in many uh, seminars with great teachers and speakers like Jim Rohn and and John Maxwell and Robert Kiyosaki, Bob Proctor, Paul Zane Pilser. And when you read, because education, self-help is very important. Dream big, it takes a commitment. It's gonna take a little bit of time. It doesn't cost any money, nothing, zero but it costs a little bit of time to allow yourself to freely document and visualize how your future want to be. So the awakening, especially in this movie, that has a purpose to trigger the inner thinking, the inner, the, the, the subconscious mind. Every human being has a massive potential to transform their lives. We all live in two environments. Call it the real life. You know, your house, your family, your kids, the neighborhood, the job, the work, whatever we do physically, which is we can touch. And then there is another environment which is hidden in the back of the mind. Is between I wish, I hope, is it possible So if you bring your subconscious environment and if you go back into that and visualize that you are actually living the life that you want to live, although it's not present today, but you must work on yourself. And to dream big, there is no price. Don't be afraid to dream. Maybe... Like we say, you know, shoot for the stars and let's land in the moon. Expand. And that's the purpose of the movie. Awaken the power within. Love it. I love it. I have this sticky note, John, that I keep here. It says, become obsessed with what you want because you get what you think about most of the time. Right? What, you, what you think about comes about. And yeah, so become so obsessed with where you're going, like in your mind and think about it. I love My- it. The power, of, the power of affirmation is, is very powerful, right? Mm-hmm. Those, those affirmations, those daily things that you can tell yourself that are already happening, even if they're not happening. Because you your brain them. doesn't, your mind doesn't know. Doesn't the difference. know. Yes. Yeah. How we about did you, a Levin? seminar called Practice, practice Wealth. Practice mm. Wealth. Practice Go to the wealth. most expensive stores. The mic drop and get, today. And dress. Don't buy it, just wear it. Sit on a luxurious car, you don't have to pay for it. Go to expensive restaurant. Aristoteles Onassis, the Greek billionaire said, when I had no money, I would go to the most expensive restaurants, get a cup of coffee and watch around all the wealthy people. What do they say? Let me watch how they dressed, body language, practice wealth. And that is also part of the awakening. Yeah. Absolutely. Elevate the mind. Oh, yeah, no, and I love what John says about thinking big and dreaming big because that's that's something we all we all dream. Everybody dreams, but it's either big or small. It's the same amount of energy to do one or the other. A lot of people have nightmares too. But I love what John says about dreaming big because we're all dreamers. We're all living out this dream. So why not dream big? And what what really excites me about this movie is like bringing the law of attraction, the law of vibration to another generation. Because when I was back in 2013, a younger guy, like that was a big part of my adulthood growing up and and learning these secrets. So now I'm excited to be a part of bringing it to another generation and showing the law of attraction and how this all can really play out, how amazing it can be. This is amazing. Like Don and Melinda Boyle are really going to change the world with this film. Oh, this is, oh, Absolutely. what a great, I'm just like, I've got goosebumps, right? I'm, yes, I can just we feel the energy. Position, this movie, Beyond the Secret, it will be positioned with beyond a billion people around the world. 
Mm. Mm. Later, okay. I'll tell you how. I want to, yeah. Okay, so we want to get to Asira. Jeff Levine, anything you want to say about the film and like what your vision is for it? I see it big and I dream big. And I want to thank Don and Melinda for all they did, Levin, John, uh, just the whole staff and Ahsoka. Everybody worked together as a team to get this done. We had challenges, but we overcame them. And it's just the beginning. Mm. You know, you know, and it's, it's just like, like Jeff says, you know, uh, don't let the challenges stop you. You know, yes, it hurts sometimes, you know, but sometimes you have to overcome that in order to get really what you want. You know, pay attention to what people are really telling you. You know, I think that was the biggest challenge for us is because, you know, you think that you're doing something good and you're doing it right. But if, if your mentors, especially your mentors, if your mentors are telling you take a different direction, sometimes you have to listen to that, right? You know, um, Marie Diamond, you know, she's sorry to be on here. I, I spoke with her yesterday and she was uh, scheduled for something else, but she was definitely wanted to be on here today. And so did Dennis Waitley. Um, but, you know, they, they, they were the biggest thinkers, just like John, you know, John keeps us moving forward, you know, keeps, keeps us focused. You know, where do you want to go? If you want to go in that direction, sometimes you have to change things. I love that, Melinda, and that's a great point of like, sometimes we got to step back and listen to our mentors. Yes. If we ask somebody for help and we want them to help us out when they give us advice, sometimes we got to say, okay. Yeah. Even though we don't quite agree with it, you know, if we're looking for help, we got to take it. We got to take it. Well, I have to take, I have to take a commercial break. I'm going to just, um, we're going to just take a little pause, highlight our sponsors of the Angel and Tina Morning Show. And then we're going to talk about these exciting projects that you guys all have coming, coming down the pike. So I'm going to just share my screen so we can see our sponsor banner here. The Angel and Tina Morning Show, of course, brought to you by our fabulous guests who come in and contribute, share life with you. So excited to have the producers and the cast of Beyond the Secret, The Awakening, the award-winning film with us here today. But our show is also sponsored by three fabulous sponsors, Bliss by the Lake Boutique, our clothing sponsor. They do trunk shows, fashion shows, and ship their darling clothes and wardrobe all over the globe. Follow them here on Facebook, Bliss by the Lake Boutique. Also by the Zondra TV Network. They are the award, uh, premier award-winning network where small business entrepreneurs can tell their story on local, national, and global television. Uh, the, um, if you've got a podcast, you've got content, you can take it to television by scheduling your discovery call by going to beonztv.com. That's B-E-O-N-Z-T-V.com to start your affordable global marketing experience today. And then if you're just too busy to get it all done, the dirty little secret is you don't have to. You can hire your own virtual assistant with Sonic VA so that you can focus on what you do best and hire out for all the rest. Go to sonicva.com, S-O-N-I-C-V-A.com to hire one, two, a dozen virtual assistants. And when you mention the Angel and Tina Morning Show, you get a 10% discount on your first 40 hours of virtual assistant service. That's sonicva.com. Those are our fabulous sponsors. So excited to um, highlight them here during, during the Angel and Tina morning show. All right, well, let's talk about the projects that you guys have coming up. Donna Melinda, you've got a TV series I know we wanna, we wanna talk about. Yes, you know, I'm really excited about the upcoming series, you know. Um, this is, you know, again, it's one of those kind of writing on the handkerchief or, or the napkin, you know, let's just do this. <laughs> you know, and I, I, we really thought that going from Beyond the Secret, The Awakening, and going into a series now called The Awakening mm -hmm. was such a playoff of the movie because not only do we have expertise mentors on there and teachers that really shared their experiences shared where they've come from, shared everything that they knew, what happened with them with the secret and the law of attraction, right? 
but we wanted to go another step. We wanted to take it into the awakening now. Let's go out, let's continue this journey and go out and find the experts who are out there that are helping people. You know, um, we recently just talked to a gentleman out in Fullerton, California, who is a STEM specialist. His name is Dr. Churchill, and he's gonna be on this series which he talks about health, you know, which right now we'll talk about great timing of how we can keep ourselves healthy in the, in the environments that we're in right now. Um, you know, we're, we're gonna, we have people coming from Canada who are just expertise in teaching children, you know, teaching children the law of attraction and well, how is that gonna impact our world, right? Especially in these times, you know, so there's great, Teachers that we're are gonna we're gonna highlight in the awakening series, you know that will be coming up. Um, we're we're getting it on Prime, on Amazon Prime as well. We're looking at other avenues right now. So you know we just want to bring that into this part of the world and awaken people, open their conscious mind to say there's more. Don't be stifled in this time of what is happening. You know open up your mind because there still is opportunity. I love it. I love it. John, do you want to talk a little bit about Asira? Uh, it goes along the lines what uh, Melinda just talked about. Since 2014, uh, after a, an incident that happened to me that was unpleasant, that converted into a very pleasant, uh, I've learned actually uh, to, to let everybody know when it, it, January 2014, Thieves came into the house and they ripped the house apart and they took the big safe and they left. And that was very uh, upsetting. And immediately after that, I went to an event in Asia for 30 days. I had 117 events and I met with about 20 some thousand people. During that, those 30 days, I realized that they only took away jewelry of a, in the safe. They never took away the knowledge. Mm. That clicked to me. I said, you know what? Knowledge is the only asset that nobody will take away from you. Since 1988, October of 1988, until now, I have read over 1,200 books, different subjects, mainly self-development, positive thinking, planning, leadership, and many other topics. So I said, you know, all this knowledge, if I keep it here, is gonna produce some good money for me. What if I convert this knowledge and share it with the world? And what if we create a system that we can convert the knowledge into profits? Because many people have a job, many people have degrees, many are highly educated. They work for 40 years for a social security, for a pension. What if we provide a platform for the people around the world? Let's go beyond a billion people and help them, help them get access to products at the best price possible for the consumer. Help businesses sell their products in a, in a new environment without spending operating costs or advertising costs. What if we create a home-based business opportunity for those individuals who, have, who are open-minded and willing to share and help. With that said, you know what? Where are you gonna put all these people? So we realized that social media platform is the way to go to put all this data in. And then the idea came in, what are we going to sell to these people? With millions of products out there, what is the number one most important important product people need to have is knowledge. Knowledge for what? To improve themselves. How are you going to sell something to someone if your vibrations and frequencies are out of line? How are you going to convince? And if you try to convince, you are already incorrect. You must share. So Asira has a purpose to connect over a billion people into the Asira social media platform that will be launched next year and allow a group of individuals open-minded to be the associates that they're going to spread the word, position the brand 
for the people to get to know how to get the right information. Now we got now Don and Melinda with the Beyond the Secret movie. She just said it right now. She wants to bring the experts. Well, the Asira Academy is the best platform globally where we invite the top experts, speakers, authors, experienced individuals. You know, sometimes they say, you know, you're gonna see online right now, so many people, they're gonna become now uh, life saviors, coaches and mentors. Ask them a question. Have you, before you announce yourself as a mentor and coach and speaker and trainer, have you actually practiced what you speak? Have you generated millions for yourself and many others because, before you train? Or have you read number of books, document in some paragraphs, because some people are very good speakers anyway, they've memorized and now let me show you how to change your life. <laughs> have you changed yours? <laughs> so now the Asira Academy is the platform where people with a very small monthly subscription they will have access to hundreds and thousands of videos from highly qualified speakers and authors around the world in multiple languages. So you don't have to buy one video at a time. We have a studio in Dubai where we would love to invite you when the frontiers are open so we can do a live show from here where the trainers, speakers, and experts will be in Dubai to share with the world from an amazing environment. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm very fortunate and very fortunate that during the last 30 plus years, I was able to develop networks, organizations for over, over a plus a million people. Do you know what it takes to deal with them over a million people? Cultures, languages, countries, ethics. Do you know what it takes to build over a billion plus dollars in, in sales revenues. All the details that come with it, like, like Jeff said and, and others, to build a business, it takes an incredible knowledge to put a film together. Oh, they just did a film. Do you have any idea what it took for them to produce a film? Mm -hmm. All the details, all the challenges, all the mistakes, all the errors, all oh, let's do it again all the cancellation, all the complaints, all the struggle, everything that takes to produce a movie or to build a business that everybody will say, wow, that is amazing. Yeah, why don't you ask them how many people they didn't even believe in the movie? So you're gonna do what? A movie, you're gonna build a Sira, what? In, <laughs> during, by the way, <laughs> by the way, well, I mean, Don Belinda and everybody involved in, 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 in the Beyond the Secret movie, we are so fortunate because we've launched projects right at the beginning of a global shutdown. Yeah. <laughs> shutdown. In Asira, we are now in, different, in multiple countries. We've done extremely well. We have many recognized top leaders in, without even a handshake. Now you have the movie in the middle of global shutdown Amazon Prime and multiple awards. That it means that regardless the circumstances, if you truly believe that what you have is so valuable for the marketplace, at whatever cost, expose it, make it happen, work hard, because people need to see that it's possible to believe, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Very few are visionaries to see it here with their minds closed, eyes closed, Let's do it and show the people that we walk the talk and talk the walk. It's all about results. That's what we're doing. So I said I will be launched officially October the first. Taking notes, right? Know, right? Jeff is over there taking notes, and I'm just like, I'm gonna have to do, watch the replay. Okay, and for so free. So John, John, we want to make sure that um, we give a you know the call to action how people can can connect and plug in. Um, but before we do that, I want to go to Levin. Levin, exciting project you've got coming down the pike. Well, I'm excited for the TV series for sure. And just promoting the movie is really the, my main focus right now. 
um, focusing on helping sales professionals improve their bottom line by fulfilling their purpose, but really just going out there and trying to help as many people as we can. Fabulous. Oh, look, he's like, mic drop and I'm done. I got All this. Right. All right. Frank? I'm in and out real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, exciting project coming down the pike? Yes, I, I do. And it all happens to be with mindset and thinking big. You know, I work with business owners who are successful, but they don't know they can even be more successful. So I am coaching them and helping them yeah. become yeah. more successful. More successful. And by doing that, I am helping them, but I'm helping all the people that work for them, all the people out there that buy their products. So it all starts with the mind. And that's what the movie is all about. So it helps me a great deal in my business, encouraging each client to think bigger. Because when you dream big, you will get big. But we've all been conditioned to think smaller. We can't. We're not good enough. Well, I help change that. The movie is changing that. But we have to have other people out there also changing that. That's a good point, Jeff. Absolutely. We got to remember that the people we help are in turn going to help other people. So right. every little thing we do really can expand. Yes, Levin, that's a good point. I see that Hannah is oh, off good. screen on mute. I don't know if Hannah can join us for a couple of minutes and say hello. Um, come off camera and unmute if you can. We'd love to, we'd love to see you and have you participate in the conversation. Um, in the meantime, let's give some like next steps, call to action. Where do you want people to go? What do you want people There's to do is. next? There's Hannah. Hello, Charlie. How good are morning. you? Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Excellent. Hello. Good to see you, my dear. Good to see you too. <laughs> big hugs, big hugs. <laughs> I know, yes. Virtual. Virtual, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. How is everybody? Well, Hannah, we're, we're doing great. We're just so excited for the success of, of the film, Beyond the Secret. Is there anything that you want to just introduce yourself, tell our audience who you are, um, and just a little bit about your contribution in the, in the film? Sure. So um, my name is Hannah Hornstein, and um, I'm the CEO of Virtuity Financial Partners. And um, so basically, it's kind of funny. I, I ended up getting into the movie very last minute because um, for me with the original movie, The Secret, when I first watched the movie, um, you know, it kind of obviously really gets you motivated to actually do your vision board and figure out what you want because, you know, really most people don't know what they want in life. And I'm seeing that more and more every time I ask someone, so what is it that you want? They're like, I don't know. I don't know what I want. So, you know, people just, they don't think about that. And so when you now have a task of like actually painting that picture and, you know, pulling out pictures out of a magazine and having it on the wall, like it really does motivate you to think about what you want your life to look like. So I did that and I had this vision board up and then just like in the movie, The Secret with, you know, obviously John Asaroff, like years later, you know, my life started to change, ended up you know, in my dream home, my business started to change, everything started to change. And, you know, at some point I looked at the vision board and I was like, wow, I manifested every single thing that I put on my vision board. And so that really, I think um, that, need, that story needs to be told more and more that it's not just a story. It's not just a movie. It's not just a book. Like these are actually principles that work. And, you know, I think the more and more stories that are out there, um, it, it really can change people's lives. And so when I met uh, Jeff and, and Don and Melinda, and I heard about the movie, you know, of course, I was like, whatever I need to do to contribute and be part of this, because I look at it as, a, as really a movement, and a movement that can that can help a lot of people. And so, 
with um, with our business platform. That's you know what we do is we have a platform where we help people change their lives through you know financial literacy and business opportunities and helping people you know kind of establish their own business, get their finances in order. But the missing piece is the mindset. The missing piece is the belief. The missing piece is figuring out what you want your life to look like. And so that's why that's why I had to be a part of this. I love it. I love it. Well, we are coming up towards the the end of the show. We want to make sure that you all have a chance to tell people how they can connect with you, what their next steps are for plugging in with you, all of your exciting programs and services and series and everything that you've got going on. So Melinda, would you like to start? Yeah. So you can go to Amazon Prime and watch the movie Beyond the Secret, The Awakening. We are also on beyondthesecret.com. Um, but the newest one that we have is beyondthesecret.tv, and that's the series that is coming out. So if you want to take a look at that, you're more than welcome to. You know, we're very excited about what's happening and bringing it out to, as John says, to billions of people out there in the world. Raise your consciousness. You know, I, I tell everybody every day, you know, keep your mindset right. Stay positive. Look forward. Don't look back. Just keep looking forward because there's better things to come. And I know there's a there's an application if you're interested in being featured in the Awakening TV series. Yes. And fill out at beyondthesecret.tv. Right. As well. Fabulous. John. John. Well, if anybody wants to know about Asira, the, the first step is find an independent associate near your area. Talk to your friends. You are already through this uh, program with Tina and Angel. Uh, connect with them directly, and you're going to find out more how to be part of the of the team. We will officially launch October the 1st. And October 3rd, we're going to have a very, uh, very unique and amazing uh, a virtual grand opening celebration. Stay tuned that's to watch just, it. That's in just a month. That Yeah, that's so yes. soon. That is so John, soon. We're going to have to have you back for the launch of Asira. Uh, we can do that. We can absolutely do that. Okay, all right. So we'd have to have it on the second um, because the third is a Saturday here in Denver and we are only Monday through Friday on the show. So we'll have to celebrate with you on the second or we could do it at, you know, it could be an, a, a multi Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. So, so they can see some of the <laughs> Ooh. excitement. Well, I am excited. I am excited. I remember being introduced to it That's several months fun. ago. And, um, and it, you, you definitely dream big, John. And thank you. Thank you for pulling us to dream even, even bigger and being a part of a Sierra. It is a little mind blowing to think that, um, my, I, I can be reaching and I can be global and digital on a Absolutely. platform like that. So thank you for the invitation. My pleasure. Right. Yes, I love my it. Pleasure. Oh, right. What, what about you, Levin? How can they get a hold of you? Uh, first off, I want to thank you all for doing this. You're all making a great difference in the world. And thank you all for putting things like this together in the movie and everything else. Uh, everybody can get a hold of me on my website, levinwood.com. There's links to social media, to my books, to the movie, to everything about me. So really just go to levinwood.com, reach out, call me, text me. I'm always available. Awesome. Mr. Levine. Yes, Mr. Mr. Levine. Yes. Uh, the best way to get a hold of me is through text. And text solution, S O L U T I O N, at 26786. And thank you so much for having us all today. What a great opportunity to share our message with the public. Well, Thanks. Tina and I are just super, super excited that you guys are we're all, here. We're like all starstruck, right? Everybody usually comes on the star and like starstrucks on us. We're starstruck on you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm starstruck on you too. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you were great. Hannah? Hannah? Oh, what about you, Hannah? Oh, oh you're not you, though, darling. Hi, sorry. Um, yeah, if anyone wants to get a hold of us, um, then we have a, a website. It's um, www virtuity.com v-i-r-t-u-i-t-y.com or they can go to facebook or instagram and just dm us uh, myself or jeffrey levine um, we're working together so yep they can just reach out directly to us 
Well, go and watch the film. I've seen it. It is, yeah, Don, Malin, and all of you. That amazing. You should oh, be like, you're, very you're good. Like this the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> no, we could not have done it with all these people. We couldn't, you know. Uh, I must say, I, I can't tell you how much in gratitude and thankfulness that I am that all of the, the cast members that were in the movie you know, they stood by us, they told us what needed to be done, you know, and, and we listened, you know, so I, I just want to tell all our cast members and everybody, thank you for supporting us. Thank you for standing by us. Thank you for everything that you guys have done for us. You know, we want to take this to billions of people and it's on the way. We're working on it behind the scenes on a daily basis of getting it out there to everybody. Well, um, congratulations on all of the su su success so far, but we know this is this is just the tip of the iceberg. We are barely getting started. So thank you all for being our guest today on the Angel and Tina Morning Show. We you. have been just honored by your presence and thinking big. I did at one point, I just had these little goosebumps of right? just the vibration and the energy lifting. My name is Angel Tussie. I am your media matchmaker. If you've got news, let's alert the press. Don't, don't shy away from creating publicity around your business, your book, or your brand, or your film. Uh, you can get started with your complimentary media guide at makeyourbigimpact.com. That's my website, makeyourbigimpact.com. We have a complimentary starter kit for you to get started into the world. And we just want to say thank you so much for making the Angel and Tina Morning Show a, prod a part of your day. We are the bright start to your morning. And of course, in such gratitude to, to our guest today, Tina. I like the theme today. It's gratitude. You know, I am Tina Torres, the gratitude specialist and client retention expert. And you guys know I'm all about gratitude. In fact, I wrote the book on it. <laughs> I wrote a gratitude journal. But if you are struggling with building your audience, finding the right clients, or even retaining those clients that you already have, I have a complimentary, complimentary guide that will help you grow your audience organically, connect and nurture those relationships authentically, and then take those relationships and turn them into paying, paying clients. And you can grab your guide if you text the word connection to 26786. That is the word connection to 26786. We are Angel and Tina on the Angel and Tina Morning Show. We are so grateful to have you guys as our audience, you on our guest. We are starstruck here on the Angel and Tina Morning Show. We hope that we brought a bright start to your day. Have a great weekend. We will see you guys on Monday. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.